Hey, that's my I'm fault. Sorry, I no, forgot about I didn't it. get it to you either. I think a, a really interesting top pair to get out here and discuss as we transition into cattle that are a little bit more market ready and, and geared to market on this day. And I think that if it was considered a prospect show, then we flip this top pair. Uh, but I think the calf that's going to win is just a shot more uh, adequate in terms of his condition. Uh, you study the cattle in terms of genuine skeletal width and muscle mass, and he certainly has the upper hand. He, he comes out of the backside of his shoulder blade with quite a bit more genuine width and dimension. He's he's super fresh over his loin and has that added uh, just substance when you study him out through his hip. He's really square in terms of his build at the ground. Um, you know, the calf in second uh, profile is, is super expertly presented and just so good in terms of his silhouette and his balance. I just couldn't quite convince myself he had enough muscle and mass to beat a really powerful calf that wins the class. Um, but I think two really high quality cattle uh, that are worth getting out here and talking about. The young lady that's going to come out here and be third, I think uh, in relation to the cattle that's in fourth, is more acceptable in terms of his market readiness today. That's a bolder bodied calf uh, that offers some substance and, and mass. He just doesn't come with the elite balance and presence of the two cattle just ahead of him. The young man doing a nice job uh, with a red calf that's going to round out the class. And, and that one's deep sided, square hipped, gives you an easy feeding look. I'd like to see him just a, a shot more advanced in terms of his finish today. I'd like to just rock that one back and relax him in the angle to his shoulder just ever so slightly. Congratulations to the Class 1 winner, Kane Sanchez, and in second, Savannah Geralds. Now we're looking for Class 2. In this group, we have Darby Davis from Weekhiver Run 4-H, Macy Mills from Country Bumpkins 4-H, Addison Burns from Bell Senior, Williston Senior FFA Chapter Animal, shown by Tristan Weathers, and Lyndon Teague from Trenton Middle FFA. In this group, the show weights range from 1104 to 1145.
I think it, uh, another interesting pair to sit out here and discuss. Uh, I think that uh, similar to the first class, we get talking about power versus uh, cattle with some added look and balance. And I think that that steer in second uh, certainly has that. But this one in first uh, is just overwhelming in terms of his horsepower. You study that thing uh, in terms of the strength to his sternum, and that just allows for him to open up with a true meat animal shape uh, to the top side of his skeleton there. That's a big hip calf. That's extra shapely when you study him out through his pin set and his stifle. I think he's quite a bit more acceptable in terms of his rear foot shape than the calf that's going to be in second. Uh, you get off of that one and get a big picture view of him. Uh, he's ultra proportional in terms of how his, his bone and, and foot mass relates to his added spread up high. Uh, calf that paints a really nice silhouette. A, a good uh, balanced place to start here. The young lady's calf in second. Um, just a shot more advanced in terms of his finish in relation to our class winner today, and I appreciate that about him. You study him in terms of those primary indicators of being full in his chest floor and full in his cod sack. Uh, he certainly offers that, and that's a that's a big, uh, big ribbed, soft-bodied kind of cattle uh, that reads like he wasn't on feed for a whole lot of days to get to this end point. I, I think that he's adequate in terms of his muscle and his shape up high, uh, maybe not quite as aggressive as the steer that wins. We'd like to just shape him up there out of his hip and his stifle, a steer that I'd really like to change there in the shape to his rear foot, give him a shot more strength to his heel. A uh, young lady's calf that's going to come out next, uh, just a shot more raw in terms of his condition in relation to the two just ahead of him today. Uh, but I think a calf that gives you a nice look from the side. He's quite a bit better off his uh, hind leg and how he handles his hock joint in relation to the one in second. We'd just like to soften him up. Uh, the bigger navel steer is just a shot coarser there in his shoulder blade. Uh, two cattle that are going to round out the class. Uh, the young lady's white sock steer uh, just has a shot more look and balance. Uh, he's a more attractive in terms of how his neck sets there at the top side of his shoulder blade. I think a calf that has a shot more true shape and dimension when you study him out of his hip and his stifle. A uh, young man rounds out the class with an easy feeding. Big ribbed baldy steer that uh, wants to get a little nervous out here today. Uh, one that just needs to come with a shot more balance and presence in relation to his contemporaries. Congratulations to the winner of Class 2, Macy Mills from Country Bumpkins 4-H, and in second, Lyndon Teague from Trent Middle FFA. We are now looking for Class 3. In this group, we have Brock Mascot from Williston Jr., Kaylee Kurtz from Yankeetown FFA, Lillian Lane from Gilchrist Homeschool 4-H, Hagen Etheridge from Williston Sr., and Madison Lane from Bronson Sr. In this group, the weights range from 1150 to 1175.
a, a nice place to start here uh, with a calf that uh, of the cattle with uh, relevant muscle shape and dimension uh, is the best in terms of his basic build. Uh, a calf that gets around with quite a bit more athleticism than the cattle in second. And he's still really aggressive in terms of his muscle and his shape when you study him coming and going. Uh, stout featured calf when you take him to the ground. Uh, maybe like to see him piece together a uh, shot smoother in terms of his overall look and balance, but I think a nice uh, balanced way to start. Young lady's calf that's going to come out in second. Uh, overwhelming in terms of his power and mass. You study him in terms of his shape along the top side of his skeleton. He's really good there. He's a stout hipped, uh, big stifle kind of cattle. I just couldn't quite convince myself he was good enough in terms of his basic angles and build to get around the calf just ahead of him. Uh, he's quite a bit more vertical in terms of his skeleton off either end of his framework. A calf that'll really get out and labor and just lose coordination when he gets out on the go. Uh, but he still has more muscle than the young lady's calf coming out here in third. And, and he's a big bodied, easy doing kind of a, a Charlotte influence steer here uh, with some performance and some muscle. I'd like to see him just a shot more advanced in terms of his finish at this stage in the game. A uh, calf that's just a little bit plainer in terms of his muscle pattern in relation to his contemporaries. Uh, young ladies, it's going to come out next. A moderate uh, big ribbed calf that's more advanced at, in terms of his finish at this stage in the game. A uh, calf that we'd like to power up at the ground. Like to see him be just a shot more aggressive in terms of his shape through his stifle and give him just a little bit cooler look in terms of his shoulder assembly. Uh, young man's uh, Brangus looking steer that's going to finish out the class. Uh, high performance long-bodied one that's lean in terms of his shape. I uh, like to moderate him and just give him a shot more uh, true dimension and product. Congratulations to our Class 3 winner, Hagen Etheridge, and in second, Madison Lane. We are now looking for Class 4. In this group, we have Jordan Spears from Bell Senior FFA, Lily Lemieux from Weekhiver Run 4-H, Mackenzie Micheletti from Williston Wranglers 4-H, Riley Locke from Chiefland Senior, and Aubrey Ward from Williston Senior. In this group, the weights range from 1190 to 1275.
I think uh, a top three steers that uh, are different in terms of their types and their kinds and offer some debate and discussion. But uh, one thing never went through my mind. I never thought out uh, uh, this calf not winning the class. Uh, that's the good balance cattle. Uh, that's correct in terms of all his basic market fundamentals. He's a calf that's got uh, plenty of genuine muscle and width and, and still good enough in terms of his finish and his cover today. Uh, it's a calf that's really w opened up and good there. A bold in terms of his body shape. Uh, he's got added sh shape out through his hip and stifle and still uh, puts it proportionally at the ground with some substance and feature. A calf that gives you a nice uh, balance look from the side. I think he wins this class rather handily. Uh, between two and three uh, is where uh, it got tough for me, and, and I take this really seriously considering uh, these cattle are going on the truck rather immediately. And I think that uh, at first I thought the steer in second uh, needed to have some more muscle and shape, but when you get up on him, uh, the calf is deceivingly uh, wider and stouter than what you think he is. Uh, he's a good-looking, highly presented calf uh, that's good in terms of his basic structure, just not quite as opened up, doesn't come with as much mass and dimension as the class winner. I like this steer that in third, and I think he's really good in terms of his basic type and kind. Uh, he's further along in terms of his primary indicators of finish on this day. A uh, calf that's uh, got enough muscle, got enough shape in relation to those top two. We'd like to see him come with just a shot, more balance and presence. Maybe like to stout him up in, in terms of his foundation just ever so slightly, but I think that's a really good kind uh, that covers all the basic fundamentals. Uh, young lady shorthorn mark steer that's going to come out next, wide-backed big-ended, uh, product-driven kind of cattle that needs to be better in terms of his basic build and structure. Uh, he's too far forward in terms of his shoulder blade and loses coordination from behind. A uh, young man steer that's going to round out the class. Uh, this one's as far along in terms of his finish and condition as any we've seen today. Uh, I think he's got enough muscle and substance, but it's still a steer show. Uh, these cattle need to come with just a, a shot more look, a shot more presence. I need to stouten him up at the ground, but a good, solid kind of market-driven calf to go ahead and round out the class. Congratulations to Class 4 winner Riley Locke from Chiefland Senior and in second, Mackenzie Micheletti from Williston Wranglers 4-H Club. We're now looking for Class 5. In this group, we have Waylon Mitchell from Chiefland Senior FFA, Hallie Bird from Weekiver Run 4-H, Warren Whitehurst from Williston Senior FFA, Dixie Senior Chapter Animal shown by Caden Davis, and Aiden Phillips from Williston Middle FFA. The show weights on these cattle range from 12.95 to 
a good logical place to start uh, with the marked up steer. And when you get over that white in terms of his top line, I think he's incredibly more balanced and symmetrical uh, than what your initial opinion is. It just throws uh, the shape to his hip off there a little bit. Uh, that's a balanced kind of cattle. Uh, that's as good as any out here in terms of his basic build and structure. I think you study him uh, in terms of how he transitions right out of the backside of his shoulder blade. And he's aggressive in terms of his shape. He's a wide back calf. That's plenty shapely in terms of his hip and his quarter. I uh, really like uh, the look and balance that calf uh, brings to the table at the profile. Young lady does a good job getting him set up and presented out here today. Uh, from there, I think that the battle comes between two and three, and, and in my opinion, uh, two just represents a better type and kind of livestock. Uh, he's quite a bit more correct and athletic in terms of his basic build and structure. I think you really get behind the cattle, and the calf offers more genuine mass and dimension out through his hip and quarter. He's big-bodied and quite a bit more advanced in terms of his finish on this day. A uh, young man coming out next with the marked-up steer. Uh, like we said, uh, long-bodied. Uh, I think a calf that has some, some shape when you study him down the top side of his shoulder blade. I just couldn't convince myself he was good enough in terms of his basic build. A uh, calf's quite a bit more vertical in terms of his angles off either end. He'll get quite a bit more restricted when the young man asks him to lead. A uh, young lady coming out next, really heavy muscled, uh, bold bodied steer with some added shape and dimension out through his hip and his quarter uh, calf that's just a shot coarser in terms of his makeup. like to see him get out and go uh, with just a shot more comfort. Young man's going to round out the class with a long bodied steer uh, that's got some rib and got some functionality about him. He just needs to come a shot more aggressive in terms of his muscle pattern. A uh, calf I'd like to just soften up there in terms of his flank and give him a shot more look as we study him through his front one third. But a good uh, practical kind of steer to go ahead and round out the class. Congratulations to Class 5 winner Hallie Bird from Weekiver Run 4-H. And in second, Waylon Mitchell from Chiefland Senior FFA. In our next class, we have J.D. Driggers from, Tr from Dixie Senior FFA, Kylie Smith from Trenton Senior, Sydney Watkins from Trenton Senior, Austin Phillips from Williston Senior, and Jake Sanchez from Dixie Explorers 4-H. In this group, the weights range from 1320 to 1355.
I think an extremely unique, uh, high quality individual to go ahead and, and win this class. Uh, this one, uh, from, a, from a silhouette standpoint, to me just kind of looks like what a fat steer ought to look like. Um, he, he's correct. In, in terms of his angles off either end, and as a result, he maintains that silhouette and symmetry in terms of his spine and motion. You, you look at how he transitions out of the backside of his armpit back through his midrib. Uh, I think he's got extra curvature, but he's certainly still fresh from that standpoint. Uh, you reach up there and handle him, and he, he grabs with, by some margin the most mass and dimension along the top side of his skeleton. He's a stout, square hip steer who's extremely proportional when you relate it to the ground in terms of his foundation and feature. Uh, in, in an ideal world, I think we could see him hit his step from behind with just a shot more coordination. Uh, it's certainly not hindering his comfort level. Uh, I think that uh, at 1355, it, it's certainly considered adequate. Uh, Nice calf to go ahead and win this class. Uh, for me, the battle comes between second and third, but I think the calf that's going to be second in here is just a shot more genuine in terms of his upper shape. I think he, he grabs a shot wider there out of the backside of his shoulder blade. He's fresh over his loin and uh, just a shot more proportional in terms of his foot size in relation to his mass up high. I really like the type and kind of cattle the young ladies in third represents. He's wide-backed, big-ended, big-bodied, and uh, shows us a pretty good indicator that uh, he's at a good finishing spot here. Um, a calf that I think gets out and goes with enough reach and coordination in relation to the two just ahead of him. Uh, when you take him in terms of how wide he is in his back, we'd like to stouten him up at his foundation in order to consider him just genuinely proportional. A calf that we'd like to see come with just a shot more look and presence in terms of how his neck ties in the top side of his shoulder blade. A young man that's going to come forth, a big, tall, stout featured steer that just needs to come with more genuine horsepower, needs to be a shot more advanced in terms of his finish. Uh, young lady rounding out the class here with a big bodied, easy feeding one that needs to come with a shot more balance and look. Congratulations to Class 6 winner Jake Sanchez from Dixie Explorers 4-H. In second, Kylie Smith from Trenton Senior. We are now looking for Class 7. In this group, we have Lainey Kaysen from Williston Senior, Layla Hobby from Williston Senior, Reagan Geralds from Country Kids, Reagan Hancock from Williston Junior, and Bailey Bird from Wekiva 4-H. In this group, the weights range from 1370 to 1460, this will be our last class of fat steers before the drive. We will need the first place animal from each class to line up in the alley. In the drive, we'll have Kane Sanchez from class one, Macy Mills from class two, Hagen Etheridge from class three, Riley Locke from class four, Hallie Bird from class five, and Jake Sanchez from class six. The winner from this class will stay in the ring.
big time good one to go ahead and win this class of cattle that are at a, as industry relevant of a kill weight as what we've seen today and this thing's just an absolute powerhouse when you when you study him in terms of the strength he has in between his eyes and the strength to his skull it just tells the story from there back he's bold and opened up in his sternum but still right at the top side of his shoulder blade from there he transitions to his midrib just like a fat steer should uh, he's grabs with a with a whole lot of extremely fresh shape and dimension on the top side of his shoulder blade uh, really really has a lot of extra substance when you study him out there his hip and stifle from a proportionality standpoint he's spot on in terms of how his mouth and feature at the ground uh, relate to that added product and dimension I think a, a really unique cattle uh, that has as good of a running gear as any which is really saying something as we get these cattle to pit push closer and closer to 1400 pounds uh, Young lady's white sock steer that's going to come out here second. Uh, I actually prefer the way this one transitions out of the backside of his shoulder blade with a shot more strength and uprightness in terms of his spine than the class winner. He gives you a really good look in terms of his lines and in terms of his presence. A uh, nice kind of cattle that's stout featured uh, in relation to an impressive class winner. We just need to give him a shot more bulk and mass when you study him from end to end. Young lady's calf coming out next has that bulk and mass. That's a wide-backed, big-ended one that's really pushing some added finish. you got to appreciate that about him. Uh, we take these cattle in terms of balance and in terms of look, and we'd like to make him just a shot smoother there in his shoulder blade, uh, have a shot more symmetry in his spine, and knock him down in his tail head just ever so slightly. Uh, the two cattle that are going to round out the class, the young lady's red and white steer, is just quite a bit more acceptable from a structural standpoint than the one that's going to round out the the class. He's a smoother jointed calf uh, who's quite a bit more relaxed in terms of his angles and as a result gets out and goes with a higher comfort level on the move. The young lady's got a big black steer here that's going to round out the class uh, and he's big barreled and pushing some finish. Uh, not only is he just a shot planer in terms of his shape when you study him out of the back side of his shoulder blade, uh, but that calf's quite a bit coarser in terms of his joints. We need to stabilize him in terms of how he uses his hock from behind. Congratulations to Class 7 winner Reagan Geralds from Country Kids 4-H Club. And in second, Layla Hobby from Williston Senior FFA. Our first place animals will re-enter for the drive. Second place animals, please head to the alley to be pulled for top five. From Class 1, we're looking for Kane Sanchez from Dixie Middle FFA at 1090. From Class 2, we're looking for Macy Mills from Country Bumpkins 4-H Club at 1105. From Class 3, Hagen Etheridge, Williston Sr. at 1175. From Class 4, Riley Locke, Chiefland Sr. FFA at 1255. From Class 5, Hallie Bird from Weekiver Run 4-H at 1305. From Class 6, we're looking for Jake Sanchez from Dixie Explorers 4-H at 1355. And currently in the ring from Class 7, we have Reagan Geralds from Country Kids 4-H Club at 1390. Let's put our hands together for these fat steers.
And first and foremost, let's get a big round of applause for our market cattle exhibitors today. Uh, guys, I think this is a, a pretty unique event, and uh, I'll keep this as short-winded as I can, but uh, if you just look around you guys at, at the support group uh, that came out here to get behind you and support uh, youth and agriculture and all the great things that a, a junior livestock project can do for a kid, I think that uh, it's certainly overwhelming and very evident in this part of the world that you're surrounded by some incredible people, so uh, make sure you make sure to thank them. Uh, no no matter they're big or small, uh, they certainly helped you get out here today. Uh, I think uh, uh, there's nothing better that we can get these kids involved with uh, than a livestock project about this that just teaches them accountability and consistency of getting out there and doing something on a routine basis. I, I think that there's nothing better to, to prepare them uh, for the real world than this. Uh, with that being said, we're going to go out here and just discuss some things now that we have them out here as a contemporary about the strengths and weaknesses of each one of these cattle out here. A uh, calf out of class one, moderate, bold, and dense. Uh, Wide-backed, big-ended, and stout featured. Maybe doesn't come with the added uh, weight uh, advantage of the cattle behind him, but I think he's pushing some finish. A uh, calf that's uh, readily market acceptable when you study him in terms of the fullness to his chest floor. A uh, uh, calf that gives you a nice look from the side. I'd like to see him get out and go with a shot more uh, athleticism. Young ladies out of class two, when we talked in class, uh, really like how aggressive and lean he is in terms of his shape. Uh, you study him across the top side of his spine there, super aggressive, especially over his loin. He's a big hipped calf who's proportional at the ground. You get him out here in relation to some others, and from a big picture standpoint, Maybe his lines just don't fit uh, quite as smooth as some others, but we certainly need to uh, commend him on being a product-driven kind of cattle with a nice look from the side. Uh, next calf, a uh, similar story. Uh, overwhelming in terms of his shape, his muscle, his mass. He's big-footed and big-legged. like to see him just a shot more advanced in terms of his finish today. A uh, calf that uh, certainly uh, just ha has a whole product. I uh, like to see him pull himself together. Uh, shot smoother in terms of his balance and just soften him up there in his flank ever so slightly. Next calf I think is one that's really good in terms of his kind and we talked about in class, uh, moderate, big-bodied, a uh, calf that's starting to push a little bit more finish than the three right ahead of him. I think he's adequate in terms of his muscle and his shape and represents good livestock when the young lady asks him to lead. He's extra good in terms of his flexibility, in terms of his structure. Uh, Lineback calf coming out next. Uh, when we talked about in class, uh, that color pattern just throws you off in terms of his symmetry a little bit, uh, but you really got to like the smooth, balanced look that one gives you from all angles. I think he's adequate. In terms of muscle, I think he's got a little bit of finish on him. A uh, nice athletic kind of calf that in relation to the cattle on either ends of him, maybe just a shot plainer, a shot more generic in terms of his presence and balance. Uh, the young man's calf coming out next. Man, this is where the heat uh, really turned up in the day as these cattle get a little bit closer uh, to market ready weight. And uh, Man, you just really like this one in terms of his body shape. He's stout, chunky, and burly right there. He reaches and grabs with an incredible amount of mass and substance down the top side of his skeleton. He's big hip, strong pinned, and extra square at the ground. We talked about him in class. Maybe like to see him just a shot more coordinated uh, in terms of how he utilizes his hock joint, and I know that it, at this weight, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty negligible, but when the competition gets this tough, I think that we can start getting picky like that. Love that guy's underline in terms of how he blends from his sternum uh, back through his navel. Young lady, steer out of the last class. Uh, you want to talk about a weight that's right where we need to be as an industry right now, coming in at 1390, probably out here weighing just a shot more than that today. I think that thing's just a powerhouse. Uh, like we talked in class, love his strength throughout, uh, strength through his sternum, and from there, he just like that calf right in front of him, I mean, he's just ideal in terms of that fat steer, lower body shape. Uh, you go up high, and, and he's massive. He's burly in terms of his shape. I think a calf... 
that's got to shot more shape and stifle to his stifle out here. But I think uh, the thing that splits hairs for me, and, and I don't want to show my cards uh, too early out here, but but man, that thing when he gets out and goes is just ideal in terms of his structure. I think in relation to any of the cattle out here, he is by some margin the most athletic in terms of how he uses his hock joint and reaches and grabs the ground from behind. Uh, I think that's uh, pretty impressive and just so square uh, when you study him from his pin bone to his hock joint to his duke claw. Everything just fits. Uh, one more time, let's give it up for these kids. A really impressive fat steer show. We're now looking for Layla Hobby from Class 7. Congratulations to Grand Champion Reagan Geralds from Country Kids 4-H Club. Congratulations to Jake Sanchez from Dixie Explorers 4-H. We're now looking for Kylie Smith from Class 6 to re-enter. Congratulations to Layla Hobby, third overall fat steer. Next, we're looking for the third in that class seven, Hancock. Fourth overall, we'll go to Riley Locke from Class 4. We're now looking for Mackenzie Micheletti to re-enter. Congratulations to fifth overall, Kylie Smith. This concludes our top five. We're going to go ahead and get photos of all of these steers, and then we'll have the group steer contest directly following. Congratulations again to grand champion Reagan Geralds, reserve Jake Sanchez, third, Layla Hobby, fourth, Riley Locke, and then fifth, Kylie Smith.
in the group tier contest. Group one will be Sydney Watkins, Kylie Smith, and Lyndon Teague. Group two will be Darby Davis, Bailey Bird, and Reagan Hancock. In group three, we'll have Layla Hobby, Savannah Geralds, and Trend FFA chapter steer. Please be ready to re-enter after photos.
We're going to move right to the group show directly following this. After the top five photos, we will not bring any other animals in the ring until after the group steer show. In the group steer show, we have Sydney Watkins, Kylie Smith, Lyndon Teague, Darby Davis, Bailey Bird, Reagan Hancock, Layla Hobby, Savannah Geralds, and Trenton FFA alum or Trenton FFA chapter steer. Please head to the alley, and we'll start as soon as photos are.